If the past 30 years are anything to go by, the year 2050 will be a world transformed. In just three decades, we've seen the development and mass adoption of the internet, huge leaps forward in racial and gender equality, and massive geopolitical shifts like the fall of the Soviet Union and the re-emergence of China. In retrospect, it all seems so obvious. Little did we know at the time. But will the world look as different in 2050 as 1990 does to us today? From AI to climate change, nanotechnology to printed meat, what does the future hold? Join us as we take a journey through the most significant technological upheavals and transformations we can expect in the coming decades. This is the world of 2050. Artificial Intelligence no good sci-fi story is complete without a terrifying AI overlord. Be it James Cameron's Terminators, Al from 2001 Space Odyssey, or the emotionless David in Ridley Scott's Prometheus. But can we expect such startling breakthroughs by 2050? According to some, yes. Just not as you imagine it. In 2050, AI may have revolutionized every aspect of our lives. Doctors could use complex learning algorithms to diagnose patients with incredible accuracy. Even better, with a level of computing power unimaginable today, machine brains could develop an understanding of viruses, bacteria, even cancer cells, designing drugs atom by atom. Such machines could execute 100 trillion instructions per second, rivaling human intelligence. Nor will this be the end. In 2050, we may be in the realm of home quantum computing. These machines work at the level of atoms, handling and storing data of unimaginable size. It led British futurologist Ian Person to hypothesize back in 2005 that we could essentially download a person's consciousness into a machine. With Elon Musk's Neuralink already developing innovative ways to interface between the brain and computers, it may not sound so crazy after all. Transport Revolution Perhaps one of the biggest transformations of our daily lives will be in transport. The biggest personal revolution of the 20th century was the invention of the car, where before people lived and died in their small locality, the car opened up the world through the vast network of open roads. We can almost certainly expect electric or hydrogen cars to be ubiquitous in 2050, with many governments banning fossil fuel vehicles in the coming decades. It's estimated that electric vehicles will reach 62 million units per year, with a global stock of 700 million electric vehicles. Smart grids will need to be built to accommodate the increased electrical demand, likely fueled by renewable technology. But we can also expect driving to be a hobby, not a necessity, as self-driving cars become the norm. In mass transit, hyperloop technologies in which pods are shot through low-pressure, frictionless tunnels may well connect the world's major cities. This concept, pioneered by Elon Musk, could reduce vast travel times to mere minutes. For example, the Indian government's proposed 214-mile route between Chennai and Bengaluru would take just 30 minutes. The Energy Upheaval For over a century, we've relied on the internal combustion engine and fossil fuels. Even the discovery of nuclear energy had a little overall impact. That's about to change. According to the World Economic Forum, renewable energy could power the world by 2050, despite a 50% increase in energy use. Whether we will hit this goal is another matter. The U.S. Energy Information Administration predicts renewables will go from 21% of the energy supply in 2020 to 42% in 2050, driven mainly by wind and solar power. However, this may underestimate the cost-effectiveness of future renewable technologies. Indeed, solar power efficiency has increased by 0.5% a year since 2010 without fail. 
with greater efficiencies and thinner, more durable panels, our very windows could power our homes by mid-century. Meanwhile, fusion energy, always 30 years away, may finally arrive in 2050. Following significant breakthroughs in the UK's Jet Laboratory and a new, bigger fusion reactor under construction in France, the first commercial fusion plant might come online in the 2050s. Indeed, the number of private fusion companies is currently exploding exponentially, seeing more money and research poured into the sector. The Second Space Race In 1969, humanity landed on the moon. We've done little since. Now, private space companies like Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic, Boeing, and of course SpaceX are investing vast amounts of money and resources into the fledging sector. With the price of space travel declining rapidly, the cost of building in space will soon become viable. By 2050, Robert Jacobson, an industry advisor, predicted that there could be hundreds of thousands of humans living in the skies above. From there, colonizing the moon is the next step. After NASA's planned Artemis mission in 2025 returns to the moon, it's expected that a steady stream of colonization will follow. Elon Musk has made it his life mission to take humans to Mars, and indeed, the Falcon Heavy, the world's most powerful rocket, was built for the express purpose of reaching the Red Planet. But while these historic missions will reinvigorate public interest in space, it's money that will keep us coming back. In 2020, NASA landed on an asteroid for the first time. By 2050, it could be mining them. A single asteroid could be worth $12 billion in resources, including precious helium-3. With money to be made, private enterprises will pour even more resources into the second space race. This time, we'll be back for good. Food and biotechnology. Meat is undergoing a quiet revolution. Already, Beyond Burgers and other vegan meat options are transforming our food. With global demand for meat expected to rise by 88% by 2050, lab-grown meat may be the only answer. You can buy lab-grown meat today. The bioreactors churn out burgers using cultured cow cells without requiring intensive farming practices needed for traditional animal agriculture. Growing a burger is one thing. Replicating steak, chicken, or pork loin is quite another. Still, as the technology gathers speed, you're almost certainly going to see it stocked on supermarket shelves in the next 30 years. But lab-grown meat won't be enough alone. If we're to feed 2 billion more people, the only way is up. Vertical farming is one potential solution, particularly with the world's population being increasingly urbanized. Encased inside glass towers, vertical farms can produce food year-round in optimized conditions for plant growth. And they also use 70 to 95% less water than traditional cultivation. Currently, the technology is focused on a narrow range of products, but as the industry becomes more efficient and advanced, other foodstuffs will become increasingly cost-effective. Climate change. Despite the good news, there is a looming existential threat to humanity, climate change. According to a recent report, if nothing is done, 216 million people could be forced to migrate in the biggest refugee crisis in history. Other projections are even more pessimistic. The Sydney-based Institution for Economics and Peace estimated that 1.2 billion people could be displaced worldwide. It's not hard to see why. In sub-Saharan Africa, desertification will transform many previously fertile regions into a wasteland. Meanwhile, in India, some cities may become too hot for habitation, alongside chronic water shortages. Areas like the southwestern United States would also see almost permanent high temperatures without respite or relief. Nor is it just people who would suffer. 
approximately 8% of vertebrates and 16% of plant species would lose half their range. And 13% of the Earth's surface would shift to an entirely new biome as tundra becomes grassland and grassland becomes desert. Of course, such dire predictions can be avoided with decisive action. New technologies in renewable energy and meat production, for example, can significantly curb greenhouse gas emissions, while CO2 extraction technologies, currently in their infancy, could be sucking out CO2 by the ton. Nanotechnology Nanotechnology is an often overlooked area of research. Yet, despite its tiny stature, it has the potential for outsized effects. By 2050, tiny nano-level smart pills could take images, monitor vital signs, or deliver drugs inside your body. Even more impressive is the suggestion that nanobots, tiny microscopic robots, could be injected into our bodies. These little machines can clear artery blockages, kill cancer cells, and perform surgeries. Research is currently taking place to design self-assembling nanobots from DNA and other organic materials. If mastered, it may cure some of the world's deadliest diseases overnight, from cancer to heart disease. But nanotechnology is also a revolution in the very materials we wear. Cloth-based nanotechnology holds the promise of remote patient monitoring such wearables could detect your heartbeat, sweat components, blood pressure, and more, notifying your doctor of any serious changes. It's already something of a reality, with US-based startup NanoSense producing an undergarment capable of capturing and recording precise heart and breathing measurements. By 2050, such technology will be ubiquitous as mass production lowers the cost and opens the doors to further innovations. Education During the COVID-19 pandemic, education underwent a mini-transformation. Unable to go to the classroom, children went online to learn. In the next 30 years, education will continue this decentralized trend. In the US, homeschooling is predicted to become even more common, combined with the multiple e-learning platforms that will become available. These digital approaches will lead to education being more personalized. AI and digital instructors will monitor children's progress, while teachers check in through VR headsets to see how their students are doing. In higher education, Physical campuses like schools may also be a thing of the past. In 2016, the Babson Survey Research Group reported that 28% of all U.S. college students attended at least one class online. This changing perspective will also open education to the world. By mid-century, 90% of the global population will have access to the Internet. This doesn't just mean more students, but also more educators. The digital explosion will result in the proliferation of massive open online courses, where thousands of students participate in online education, learning and teaching each other from across the globe. As the divide between virtual and real becomes even more blurred, these online communities will feel as close and familiar as any current classroom. Prosthetics the hardest challenge when predicting the future is how technologies influence and alter each other. Nowhere is this clearer than in prosthetics. Robotic limbs, nanotechnology, and machine learning will blend together to create smarter, more adaptable, and more maneuverable limbs comparable to their flesh and blood counterparts, if not superior. Disabled people will be able to control precision movements with their minds. And even more impressively, users will receive sensor data informing the person about temperature and vibration. That's where AI comes in. It will detect the signals from nerves, translating them into fine movements, much like a regular arm or leg. But with better materials, such arms and legs could be stronger than you'd expect 
able to exert significantly more force than a conventional person. With new materials and technologies increasingly revolutionizing the field, the future looks exceptionally bright for the world's disabled. But what do you think? How will the world look in 2050? Will we be living in a techno-utopia? Or will the new technologies and innovations create more challenges, not less? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.